What's up y'all, welcome to another video. Let's get to jigging. Dropping down, we are here out of Marco Island, Florida, and we're doing some jigging today. It's Captain Tanner, who's behind the helm right now. What's going on? We're trying to catch some fish today. Doing a little bit of everything jigging. I got sent pictures, which I'm showing on the screen right now, of just a bunch of red grouper caught on jigs on the last trip that uh, Tim went on. And that's what we're trying to do today. We just pulled up to the first spot, after a pretty long run, nice little snooze and some uh, sleeping bags on the way out. Now we're trying to catch some fish. Vic is hooked up. Wasn't trying to wasn't trying to ruin your speech over there, but some of us are trying to catch fish, Ryan. Hey man, I'm just here for you know to look good for the camera. So this is uh, about our like six species. Ryan just did his intro, but we've caught some amberjacks and uh, mangrove snapper, lane snapper, vermilion. First, Yay! our first grouper of the day. It's not gonna keep, but it's the first grouper of the day. Red grouper. And the cool thing about this West Coast fishery is we're able to fish really small, light jigs, because we're not fishing that deep. But for all the Ryan Mori fans, that is a red grouper right there. First one. I hope, I hope they get bigger. Yeah, they will. We'll get bigger. We're getting big ones today. Oh my God, <laughs> I was like not even holding the rod tight. <laughs> Almost a whole slow pitch combo just went in the water. Second fish, just caught a little uh, vermilion snapper before this. Had some uh, else whack the jig. What we got? Oh, Tim's hooked. We got us a little juvenile AJ. Smokes the jig. A little 200 gram Ocean's Legacy there. Hopefully this is the smallest AJ we catch today. I actually want to catch a real big one today. Yeet. Tim, stand tight. It's the only thing that's for sure on the boat. <laughs> that and the wind. People on YouTube don't care if it's rough thick. We just like to complain about it. They like to make fun of us and say, that's not rough. Hi, the, the summer of 69, it was eight to 11. We were out there and- We walked through the snow in. uphill to get there. Uh, oh, is that an octopus? Yeah, they no, kind of what, are oh not sure what that. See, what you got to do when you're jigging for grouper is jig on the bottom. Don't do what you've been doing. Exactly. Just like that, son. Wow. Just like that. Take notes, Vic. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, this is no, not massive. Like a humble guy. Oh! <laughs> Brooks, what did you get? Oh! You're rubbing off on it, Ryan. Yeah. That juju. Brookster. That looked like a good fish, didn't it? Oh! She's yeah, on it again! Yeah. Nice. Well, you got the biggest grouper so far in the day. Oh, tight, son. That's a good fish. You got a, a uh, black grouper, I think. That's gotta be a black. That's what I No, thought. no, that's not a black grouper. Dude, what are you sure? That's a, that's a hind, well, some kind of hind, like a rock hind or... I got a good fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm over here trying to ID yeah. Tim's grouper. My jig's still on the bottom and I'm kind of moving it. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm still fishing. And I just got whacked by something. Definitely the best fish I've hooked all day. Definitely feels grouper-like because it was Really giving me the business straight down. Oh! There's a keeper. The first keeper red. Woo! Joke the jig. That's my first keeper red on slow pitch. Look at that. That is sick. On the Jigs R Us, what was the model? That's the wrecker. Jigs R Us wrecker, a little 100 gram jig. That is sick, man. Am I illuminated properly? You and your said that so <laughs> Am I illuminated properly? Who are you? Look at that thing. That that was like I hooked the bottom, but it just like slightly had some head shakes when he hit. Super, super cool and a great eating fish too. This is legitimately what I came over here for, uh, or what you know, what got me super, super excited to go on a trip like this is Tim showed us just pictures of multiple studs like this. We don't really get these on the East Coast, not like this, especially not eating jigs regularly. So super, super stoked. Hoping the rest of the crew is going to grab them and then we'll grab some other species here in the afternoon. But this bad boy is going in the box. Hey, there you go. go. There they are. Oh, buddy, that's big hookup, son. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. What I like to see. This is good. This is the best thing I've Oh my god. Floater. Got a floater. Coming up. Oh buddy. 
Two! What the? <laughs> Dude! Two groupers? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Tim, that's your specialty. <laughs> oh my god! You gotta, you I wonder keep. which one ain't it first. You got a keeper and a short. Wow. I'm gonna guess nice. it. That is ridiculous. Nice. That's why you come fishing with Captain Tanner right there. Oh yeah. That's exactly why you we got color. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Red. Nice red. Another Woo! keeper. Nice Dude, they're getting bigger. <laughs> oh, my God. Definitely my biggest grouper double I've ever been a part of. Tim handed me this jig. He's like, here, try this uh, Jig Pro jig. It's, I call it the grouper scooper. And I'll tell you what. Caught my biggest red grouper and then caught this one right here. Now my biggest red grouper on this jig. Tim just smoked a double header, two red grouper on one jig. They are chewing right now. Look at the difference in the fish too. Like his is really, really light colored and mine's really dark. Very similarly sized fish though. That's sick. Man. One's got a snow pattern on him. Yeah, gosh, this is so... I mean, to be an East Coast guy, we don't get to experience stuff like this ever. So this is just really special, and I feel really lucky to be out here even getting to do this. Because you should have been filming. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was like that three in a row. So tight. <laughs> that is oh my, my favorite. When you drop down the jig, a lot of times they miss it the first time. Because I mean, I don't know about you, but eating a piece of lead doesn't sound fun to me. And I think they miss it a lot, and they're like, "What the heck is oh this?" Oh my thing? god! As soon as I get on yeah, we're on them. We're on them. Good. That tide started to move. So did the fish. What's for dinner? Not this one's not for dinner. <laughs> that one's going again. Yep. Wow. Tucked. This is intense. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that rod bed. Oh! Oh my God! That fish has got shoulders. That's a good one. Or it's two again. <laughs> <laughs> I think a big thing is that first presentation, when it first flutters down, it looks like some dead bait fish just kind of trickling down there. When you start bouncing it over and over again in the same spot, it doesn't look natural. That's why I feel like we're getting hit over and over on that first drop. I also think we get them fired up. Like fish yes. start feeding, other ones start feeding too, for sure. Absolutely. Woo! Nice. Woo! Nice. Woo! Stud, dude. As soon as it hit bottom. So the limit is two per person, so we can keep eight out here today, and they got to be 20 inches. That one's probably about 26, 27. It's a decent one. Any group over 30 inches, I consider a fire truck. So yeah. we have yet to put one. Uh, we got one close, but usually fire trucks will come out here in a little bit, especially with all this action going on. Oh, we got one ambulance. Five seconds ago, I caught a little lane, and I was just like, look at this grouper bait. This thing is, and then we reel out the grouper, and he absolutely choked that little lane snapper. This is crazy. My God, these fish, no wonder they're so fat. They're just down there just feeding. Let's check it out. Check it out. Boom. Literally. That was the lane snapper. I mean, look, there, is there a little mark in him? We must have caught that thing five seconds ago, and that grouper just choked him. That is Put crazy. It back on his throat. Let him finish there you go, bud. There you go. Just take all that grouper mayhem was just spot number one. I think we made like three drops and didn't get a bite. And Tanner's like, "Up, oh, that's it. We gotta go. On to the next thing. We're gonna go move to some different numbers. Maybe catch some African pompano. Maybe catch some amber jacks. All I care about is hooking something, catching some fish. Boom. These two are refueling, getting ready to go, We're getting back. hyped. I hope you guys are hyped. If you guys are liking today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Got him on! Let's go, son! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. What we like to see. There Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I flicked out. So this is sacrilege on one of these trips because oh. we normally, will you Hop see one sky? Yeah. Hey, throw it! 
Sacrilege, because uh, we we normally just fish lures on one of these trips, but uh, I flicked out a bait because Captain Tanner blacked out the well with a bunch of live bait this morning. It was just fl you know, flicking out there and uh, just got picked up what I think is going to be a nice kingfish. Woo, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Fish. I just got cut off on the jig, actually, uh, by a big one before this. That's what got me fired up. And I was like, you know what? I think I actually have a little wire rig in my bag. And I went and found one. Don't know how long it's been there. Hopefully it holds up. Just a little added tension to this fight. But should be a really nice fish. He's going to freak out when he sees the boat and take a really long run. So just playing him nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, is yeah. Is it a Kuda? Is yeah. it a Kuda? Oh, I knew it's a Kuda. <laughs> oh, disappointing. My light wire rig that I was telling you guys about that has been in my bag for who knows how long. Literally twisted, kinked, and broke right there. But uh, who knows? Maybe we'll get a Kuda. Maybe we'll get another kingfish. We're catching fish, though. Oh, my God. Oh, the Blue Runner got picked up while we're trying to put on slow pitch jigs. Oh, man. <laughs> Quick shout out to the fam over at Navalis Apparel. That's the bamboo shirt that I'm wearing. Probably one of the most comfortable shirts that I've ever worn. You guys can get a discount with my code Ryan20 down in the description. It'll give you 20% off at checkout. Keep your teeth away from my yeah. face. That's what I'm saying. I will cut my line based on what yours could be, based what mine could be. So this this should be right around the edge. Woo! Hey Vic. You gotta appreciate it when you're having good times like this. <laughs> <laughs> little switcheroo, little musical chairs. Me and Tanner were talking about it. We're like, well, Vic's fighting this fish. We're just gonna hear a rod go off in the front of the boat because we forgot we had that big blue runner out. And there it was. I think that's what we want. <laughs> it doesn't look long like it. It doesn't look. No, no, no it doesn't look like AJE. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. Woo, baby! Come on, son. Yeah, that's an African pop now. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, it is. <laughs> Please, my hero. Tanner's gonna be the hero when he sticks a big fat gaff in him. <laughs> oh, it's an African for sure. I won't, I won't, I won't. Coming back. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, look oh at that god. fish, Victor! Oh, oh my, my god, god, dude! Yeah! Oh! Yes! Come on, oh my son! God. Look at that thing, dude! Oh! Yes! That is a stud. Here, real deal fishing charters, Mark Wyland. Link in bio. Get yourself the fish of a lifetime with my boy Tanner right here. Thank you. That was, seriously, this is such an amazing fish right here. <laughs> That's a beauty. That might be the biggest one on my boat, too. Woo! Come on. I like the sound of that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one. In the background is Ryan's Yeah, I was, like, I was hooked for that whole I sequence. Like oh, the one. Is it? I saw flashing, yeah, whatever it is. One. Big. What do you think? Uh, it's got shoulders. I saw the flashing. It chased it up. Oh, my God. I just got whacked, too. Yep. Oh, my God, boys. Double name. You gotta be kidding me right now. If this. <laughs> I saw Tim get hit right under the boat, so I was just like, all right, I'm gonna jig up. I'm gonna jig up fast. And I didn't think I was actually gonna get hit, but I was like, I might as well. He's brawling too. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Mine's staying down. Yours yeah. is running out. Is this real life right now? Well, I guess we chose good jigs. <laughs> we just both made a jig change. We're like, well, these look good. These might work. They both just got whacked. Oh my god. I'm in disbelief right now. Is yours one too? I mine was right next to where his no, was. I'm gonna grab yours. I don't want to come off right with next to the I don't want to lose your first one. <laughs> Tuck's leader, right? We got him. Oh my god, this guy has crazy um, streamers. Tra tracers. You're good. Pompano party. 
Tim's first ever African pompano. This should be the boy. Woo! Come on! I'm gonna drop it again is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? First AP. Oh my god. It's pretty sick, dude. Dude, aren't I they? I can't imagine how. Fun? African pompano on slow pitch jigs. They fight so good for their size, don't mm, they? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this one ripped, dude. I was like sitting there thinking it was gonna be as big as yours. And then I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't feel that heavy. That's the that one, was babe. a really weird bite that I definitely Damn. think it wasn't. <laughs> African Pompano. Oh, wow. Oh my god! That's the one! He's going! Holy crap! That's sick. Wow. So, Victor, Tim. That might have just turned into a shark. <laughs> I, I, I think this just turned into a shark, whatever I just had. Oh my god. Yeah, huh? Maybe AP? Dude, I don't, it's scoping up. Yeah, I don't, yeah, so like I hooked it and it felt like a big grouper. I don't know, man. I'm putting a lot of tension. Like, don't want him to get super far away from me, but who That's knows? Shark. When does it let go? <laughs> Dude, there's critters eating some jigs today. I'll tell you boys what. I don't know what's going on out here. And I don't know what I'm doing, but we're doing it. This scoped up super weird. Like, I swear, like, on my life, the first, got chased? the first three seconds, I was like, this oh, is... Oh, Brooke, on! Is that a fish or bottom? That's fish. That on bottom. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm going to need this clip, right? Oh, my God. Well, I mean, we're going to dump both SD cards yeah. completely. I think that's enough life. Brooke! What did you hook? I don't know. You hooked a freight train. It's on bottom though. Tanner's putting the boat in reverse right now. Just keep it on top, us on top of this thing, whatever Brooke's got. What are we, you, you bring us over to school yellowfin tuna, dude? We're, we're sail they fishing. Dive. So Ryan's got a big African pompano, correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a big African pompano. Definitely way bigger than the one I already landed. I want to see what Brooks got. We're gonna put the boat in reverse. I'm gonna loosen on my drag a little bit. We'll play our fish because Brooks like getting spooled right now. This all sorts of mayhem, man. I don't know how to process this right now. I gotta get on it, guys. Got spooled. Come on, I don't know. I have water. no idea what I probably hooked. I have absolutely no clue. Now we got this giant silver thing circling down there, which I'm 90% sure is a big African pompano. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to eat a snack today. We're just staying tight all day. You just gotta appreciate these days when you get them because they're just not commonplace, or at least not for me. This fish is not happy with us at all, especially because we drug him in reverse a couple times. <laughs> this is a big fish, man. Like how fast Tim and I got those like, the, you know, the medium sized ones in. This is like a complete other level. Another horse right there. I got, I got a lot of respect for what Vic just did. Take note how well that new Elementus slope is game. That is yeah. true. So being, uh, being that we are fishing lighter jigs today, dropped down to a new rod that I hadn't used before is Elementus slow pitch game. Same rod that I normally use, however, this is the lighter one. So this one's rated for 80 grams to 220 grams, like a PE1, one and a half to style rod. Super, super strong. It just loads the lighter jigs better. And look at the massive fish that we're catching on this. I'm, I'm at a loss for words, kind of, honestly. Just really, really hoping we land this thing. I get that fish anxiety. He's coming up top. He's he going to float himself. Top. Look at the size of that thing. I almost fell. Almost died. 
Alright. That is ridiculous. Captain Tanner Charter, son! Three cameras, one fish. Oh my god. Nice. Dude! Look at that thing! <laughs> oh my god! Come on, man! Woo! <laughs> you don't think you're ever going to get a catch fish like this. He's extremely lucky. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. Number two. Oh my man. Ooh. All right. Let's get that hook out and take a quick pick. We got some ridiculous stuff going on. Tanner's throwing out some live baits. I got this stick bait here. There's a big shark, a bunch of AJs, and I'm just going to cast it out and we're going to see what type of mayhem we can get into. Let's check this out. They're chasing it. They're chasing it. They're chasing Oh my oh, god! gosh well there's a shark out there let's see how this turns out boys let's go terminate drag just figure it out mm. AJ? big aj energy son big aj energy terminate drag all the sharks on him all the sharks on him yeah, yeah. all the sharks on him got sharks already. Ah! Ah! Absolutely epic day one of the most epic days offshore that I've ever had fishing with Captain Tanner really appreciate you Fishing with the rest of the team, Brooke, Vic, Tim, awesome time. If you guys want to go on a charter with Captain Tanner, absolutely check the link in the description. If you want to do slow pitch stuff like this, you should bring or you need to bring your own gear. However, you can catch all the fish we caught today on a normal trip with Tanner, fishing bait and other methods like that. Absolute pleasure, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. See y'all later. See ya.